This Monday Night Football Props and NFL Week Nine Recap Edition of the Sports Game Podcast brought to you by Prize Picks. Go to prizepicks.com slash SGPN and use code SGPN for a first deposit match up to one hundred dollars. We're also brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player, pro- player props, and game lines. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use code SGPN. Take fifty percent off your first month and start making smarter bets today. We're also brought to you by BetterHelp. Find your bright spot this season. Visit BetterHelp.com/sgpn today to get ten percent off your first month. And we're also brought to you by Game Time. Game Time has last-minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Use promo code SGPN for twenty dollars off your first purchase. What's up, everybody? You're watching SGPN. Fuck the Cowboys. Let's go, baby. To the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean, second money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money, Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. Phone lines are open, bitches. Oh yes, let's go. Phone lines are open. Get on us in uh, spaces over on X at Gambling Podcast. What an NFL Sunday, Ryan. Four and zero on our locks combined. Five and zero on the circa millions. Down goes Dallas. Got got to watch the game with my uh, dad and my mom. It's a lot of fun. How'd that go? How was Tom? Oh, uh, my dad was uh, yeah in sad, rare form. Sad I missed it. Very uh, yeah. Uh, I I think the highlight was when um, he was uh, looking at Jason Kelsey and said. Uh, <laughs> He goes, isn't his brother dating Maria Carey? Whoa. <laughs> Which is like an all time. Maria Carey. And he, yeah. that's not a bit. No, no. Definitely not a no, bit. No, no. I, awesome. I think he knew it wasn't right, but also that was him earnestly trying to nail the pop culture reference. And I mean, what's funnier, not knowing Taylor Swift or thinking it was Maria Maria Carey? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They're both equally uh Equally pretty great. Darnell Mooney ladder caches. That was awesome. Oh, that's always fun. He almost got the kitty out of the tree. He got up to seventy-eight yard or no, sorry, eighty-two yards. He cashed the seventy-eight yard rung of the ladder at nine to one for me. I I got a lot of screenshots. People uh, going up as high as they could in the ladder. Almost got that hundred yards. Uh, I mean, I went eleven and two ATS, and that was with that backbreaker of a game. The Houston Texans uh, minus two and a half, which was a fun game. I mean, as 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 bad as some of these uh, quote unquote quarterbacks were, there was also just like a shit ton of fun games. Um, great slate, I thought, uh, ended up shaking out as far as like games coming down to the wire. Uh, interesting back and forth. I mean, that Vikings uh, Falcons game was epic. I mean, uh, there were a couple duds, but the Houston uh, Bucks game was great. Uh, Washington, New England game was very close. Even the even the Bears Saints game, and we'll get to that in the recap. But man, I I think if Bajan, whatever he did to his knee, kind of tweaked yeah. it, wasn't the same after. I'm not saying that was the reason, uh, but I mean they lost by seven points and they got. I I think they the turnover margin was like negative four. So they get a couple breaks on some of those. Maybe they have a shot. Just can't sort this Saints team out. I, I mean. They are. They're, they're going to end up winning this damn division. <laughs> they probably. Like everyone are. said they were gonna, and they're just not a good team. Well, and then and then Tampa Bay. Or are they? You, Tampa Bay played their ass off and didn't get the win. I mean, CJ, I was going to ask you, Sean, because yeah. um, you know we don't like to brag, but we are in uh, you know some industry leagues because we're experts. <laughs> and and kicking myself for we did give out Comet. Uh, on our DFS lineup, which unfortunately had uh, Jaron Hall, and for everyone who was also <laughs> riding the Jaron Hall rushing ladder and anytime touchdown, what a brutal way for that to come crashing! I mean, that's like breaking your neck, setting up Christmas uh, tree lights, uh, falling off that ladder because oh, the metaphorical <laughs> significance there, Sean. <laughs> yeah, he almost, head trauma oh, was involved. 
it's like maybe if he dives lower, he gets it, but he like gets to the six inch line, crouches up, right. and he like ducks right into the cornerback's hit. Like I don't I think if he that stays wasn't that that wasn't a cornerback. That had to be a safety or something. Really? Uh, I thought I, they my, said I thought they said My thought is that I thought they had a line of like, hey, in this league, even the quarterback's hit, whatever it was, I think he felt like he almost like went right into the hit. Well, you know what it was? Got knocked out. You ever seen a boxing match where the the, the glove like grazes the chin just per- perfectly and the guy goes down? It kind of had vibes like that. I think they just caught him exactly right and just kind of rattled his it, yeah, jaw. It was just the out. perfect shot. Well, anyway, in one of those industry leagues, Sean, yes. where, where we have four quarterbacks, it's best ball. <laughs> we were the long shot in the division oh. in the league to win. Uh, our quarterbacks are Baker May or sorry Taysom Hill, who only scored twenty point <laughs> six five. Baker Mayfield, who caught, scored twenty one point six five. Jalen Hurts twenty seven point nine five. Nope, he didn't score for us either. This really. Week. Cause CJ Stroud put up 46 and a half oh points. God. Yeah. Five passing touchdowns. Dude. I, yeah. Is, I, that, is he locked up the rookie of the year? Like <laughs> what has to happen for, for him to lose rookie of the other than like catastrophic injury at this point, Bijan's nowhere to be seen. Could Gibbs make a late push? If he has some crazy games, Montgomery probably coming back. No, I Puka mean, dude, slowed he's, down. He's a quarterback and it's, it's over, right? Yeah. I mean, it was over a while ago, but now it's just, I mean, that was a, he set the record for most passing yards, but really it was just a lot of like it, the, the stats look great, but I test, it was just like, holy shit. There were some really good throws. There was like some sweet pump fake bombs. He hit. How do people just think him and Bryce Young were on the same <laughs> level? What are well, we Bryce, doing? Bryce Young and that electric new Carolina Panthers offense, Wow. just dog shit as always. Uh, that's my, I, I would say my favorite mid-season take is watching this new revamped play caller who's never called play be- plays before. How many <laughs> at, how many points has he scored now? 15, 15 in the first and game. Then, and then what they get this week? 10, it, was it? Uh 13. So 13. 28 points. Uh, by, by the way, Frank Reich, against that against that staunch Colts defense. When Frank Reich was calling the plays? <laughs> yes. 18.7 points per game. So yeah. I uh, we got we got callers. Oh, we do. We All right. Do. Well, we got uh, we got so much to get to. Let me uh, grace the audience with a discussion about pretzel crust pizza. That's right, little C's baby, little C's. Even little C's gets degrees. What does that mean? I don't know. I'm just I'm just drunk off of how delicious uh, these uh, pe- pretzel crust pizzas are from Little Caesars. They are a mouthful. Both uh, doing the ad read and enjoying the delicious mouth watering. Uh, pizza. It's just, it's just dang good. And it just pairs perfectly. The pepperoni piled high, that salty cured meat with the nice little Caesars cheese and sauce on that delicious crust that is made out of a pretzel. It's golden Brown. It's got those big chunks of salt and just got this buttery crust to it. That just, it goes down so smooth. And the pretzel crust pizza pairs perfectly with my other favorite thing, the national football league order online during our pizza, pizza pregame one hour before and three hours after NFL kick. Uh, all day Sunday, so Monday, Thursday, uh, even some Black Friday, the holidays, Thanksgiving. If you're, uh, if you're, uh, maybe, maybe you got like a pregame pizza before you have your Thanksgiving meal. Little C's has you covered. The uh, cookie dough brownie bites, delicious. The Little Caesars wing, moist, delicious, tender chicken wings. Love their whole menu. Uh, you can get it delivered or in store with the Pizza Portal pickup. Grab some friends and enjoy a few slices during the game. Little Caesars pizza, pizza. We have the callers uh, lining up, Kramer. Yeah, the, the lights are. I and mean, I, I don't know if we have lights. Fl- we need to get some lights flashing so Yo, we know okay. when the callers. I like that. Are, like a, a p- proper switch. And, and, and of course, we will be giving out, uh, getting to our Monday Night Football props uh, and first touchdown and DJ's only prop bets. I, so. I put ladder on there just in case we wanted to get. <laughs> <laughs> in case we were uh, mute, I know you you hit a little bit of the ladder. So well, yeah, and, and I, honestly, I got, I got like, pretty good. I'm going. counting the Jaron Hall ladder. Jaron Hall catch. ladder was good, and Dobbs had all those rushing yards. Those would have been Jaron Hall and Tyson Bajan. I was all over the uh, him running angle, but I I thought it would be goal line stuff, touchdown stuff. Instead, it was just a huge yardage game. So uh, we'll see if that can continue. But I. I, I, coming back to it, I there is a lot to like about Tyson Bajan. I think he legit looks comfortable in the pocket. You give that kid some seasoning, and I think he might be okay. Uh, yeah, Justin Fields should take note. I mean, Sean, they did say that the other. Uh, yeah. I think during the Chargers game, they're like Justin Fields should take notice of how calm he is in the pocket. 
That's really sad. Uh, it's really, <laughs> Very really sad. sad. All right. All right. Who's uh, on the line, Ryan? W- well, you want to start? Uh, yeah, let's get uh, some I'm going to go in chronological order. Man's here to, uh, I guess you would say he's here to take his medicine. Oh, is this uh serial calling to apologize? He goes by a lot of names. So I don't know. I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to uh, announce him with a name. He doesn't want to go by right now, but it, it, it is the man formerly known as serial. Hopefully cereal? he's still serial serial. Um, tough one for you guys, but uh, I assume you're calling to congratulate me and the Philadelphia Eagles on our 28 to 23 win and cover never in doubt against the hated Dallas Cowboys. Never in doubt. Huh? Oh, wow. <laughs> No, no, I, I I liked their chances going into the game. Liked their chances after the I, game. I did feel sad that I w- I had some uh, some parental commitments and could not be here to record some of the moments that must have been very tense in the. Oh, office. it was it was a sweat. And shout out to all the uh, Cowboys fans whining about the refs. I mean, the Eagles got called for a tremendous amount of penalties. And like what? Uh, well, whoa, like what? Whoa, I, I like mean, what? that Dak roughing the passer call to get you guys that drive started. That was bullshit. Fight, come on, fight, fight. Wait, fight. you mean you didn't hit us in the helmet too? In that last oh, drive? No. Oh, come on, dude. There's no place okay, in the game. All right, for so that. we didn't. All right, we're not complaining about the refs. Listen, we lost not because the refs, right? Okay. Did they help you guys out for sure? Absolutely. <laughs> all right. So. Um, we'll, we'll just start with that. Well, Eagles got we called definitely for, didn't lose because e- the refs. Right? Eagles we lost got because called the for... fucking line gave up five sacks. <laughs> yeah. Defense looked like shit. You know, you guys were just just doing anything you really kind of wanted to on it for a little bit there. So it happens, bro. Yeah. I just I, hope those home calls come a couple weeks from now. That's all I hope. Yes, the hometown ref who flagged the Eagles for ten penalties in ninety eight yards. That that to me is not a that's not a home whistle. Um. Yeah. Were there some bad calls? They were yeah. legitimate. Oh, okay. So all <laughs> the calls. The difference. All the calls. Ours were, ours were questions. <laughs> like there was a fine line between what was being called for us oh, and okay. what was being called for okay. you guys. Okay. No. Let's let's be honest. The reason the Cowboys lost was uh, Dak Prescott stepped out of bounds on the two point conversion, and Jake Ferguson almost got it into the end zone. So in horseshoes or hand grenades, maybe you guys get the win, but. He got stopped short by Reed Blankenship. Those are the two plays of the game. I'm gonna guess uh, serial. You mean that whole XL? drive where you got AJ Brown that touchdown doesn't count for anything? What do you mean? No, the AJ Brown what, touchdown. Like five counted. penalties on that drive keep that thing extended, bro. Come on. Oh, you the, your last drive it was all penalties. It's like I said, like I you said, it's all right. It's all right. Penalties. We didn't lose because the penalties. It's all right. <laughs> like I said, when that comes back to hometown, I want those same. Type of calls coming our way. All right, I'll happily take uh, ten penalties for ninety-eight yards in Dallas. Yeah, mm. <laughs> and all those weak pass interference or holding calls. Are you talking about holding calls? Are you talking about the one on uh, Bradbury, the weak uh, PI call there to get you guys at midfield on the last PI? drive? Oh, you could legitimately couldn't get the ball. <laughs> at least Gilly was just sitting on top of the route. I mean, right. I, I would say this. Uh, as the TV executives would say, can't wait for the rematch. Yeah, hopefully it's a they game. hopefully they flex it into prime time. Hope, Everyone wants to watch. Hopefully it. you guys are still in the playoff race because that will be a uh, fun game. Hopefully it's still meaning for you guys. How did you do outside of the Eagles Cowboys cereal? I did all right. Well, I'm, still, <laughs> I'm still pretty pissed off about that one. But. Yeah, no, I feel you, man. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I hey, if the Eagles almost lost that game, if they lost, I'd be super pissed. What was your what was your best win? Let's get you in a good mood. Um I don't know. I had I was really hoping this 420 was gonna hit. It just <laughs> didn't hit. Smoking my weed. Yeah, but it's all right. <laughs> that's all right, man. I just wanted to say good game. All I'm right. Catch you on the rebound, man. Real real Hats honorable off. move. First caller. Yes. He wanted to get this out of the way. I like it. Very therapeutic. <laughs> Appreciate you, Serial. Best, uh, best of luck on the Monday night game. Store dot sports gambling podcast dot com. Oh, refs are terrorists. Yeah, go buy the shirt. I yeah. think Sean needs a refs are my best friend. Oh, I, 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 I petitioned many a time for a refs are awesome T shirt um, to uh, wear in certain situations. This is this is untrue. Hashtag Philly's twelfth man. Let's go. <laughs> oh, hey, wow. you know, I, hey, I mean, home crowds have been known to. Uh, Influence golf. Listen, we you, cereal. I'm gonna guess you've uh, you da- you watched wrestling at least a little bit in your life. Come on, you know what they do. They gotta build up the heroes. It's a rematch. Yeah, the hero. The heroes must make it to the end so they can be <laughs> slain by the villain. 
All right. Thanks, Serial. Let it ride, buddy. Oh wow. He just that that was like full sports talk. He got out of there quick. <laughs> oh, but I mean, hats off to him for actually calling in. So some of these some of these jabrones call in, talk about just smack, and then you never hear from them. Like right, that guy who uh still hasn't paid me my fifty dollars for mm, the Brock Purdy guy? Well, not the uh, Trey Lance oh, guy, but so yes, they it all, was related to Brock Purdy. Oh, they all run together. <laughs> all right, let's got another call, Ryan. Oh, of course we do. He was on a bye week this week, so he, he pushed the chips into the middle of the table. I'm very interested to hear how Easy's doing after his uh, no focus on one game Sunday. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, guys? I appreciate y'all bringing me on right as Sean talks about jabronis. <laughs> yeah, what's up, jabroni? <laughs> yeah, so it was a good bye week. Nice. How yeah, was I? Uh, I hit the Irv Smith first touchdown in the Sunday night game. So Son was- of a bitch! Uh, I I feel uh, I was I was gonna he, you know, no one wants to hear I was going to give him out, but he. W- I, I don't know. I'm kicking myself. I got a little too cute there. Tight end. It's not often I'll come in the office and uh, be annoyed that I was close to putting someone on the card. Yeah. Um, Irv Smith was a similar candidate. It's a tight with, end. But, but, he was due. But I can't. I, you should have seen that. I'm one. not mad because I'm never going to play Irv Smith. Yeah. So nice job playing Irv Smith. I'm not mad at myself. I'm just disappointed. Um, yeah. He's he's definitely the one and done on the, on that one. Yeah. I'm not going back to it. Any other any other winners? Uh, yeah, I hit like a three leg anytime in the one o'clock slate. Whoop. I also hit Josh Allen, uh, first bill score. Ooh, nice. And then the easy ones, like, you know, Jamar chase longest reception. That's pretty much a give me every week. Yes. Um, yeah. And, uh, for the, for tomorrow night's game, Austin Eckler's longest reception. Oh, what do you looks, got that at? Look, uh, on DraftKings, it is over 14 and a half yards. Let's lock it in. We'll be talking Monday night props later. I I may or may not have a Austin Eckler prop ready Ooh. to go. Yeah, I don't got anything on Eckler. He's been he's been tough for me to figure out because I was really focused on the fantasy <laughs> analyst game. It's it is hard to handicap his running yeah, back. I, I I want him to do well as a fellow content creator, but yes, uh, he's been tough for me to get a handle on. All right, easy. Thanks, man. Best of luck with the uh, Eckler prop. Yep, appreciate y'all. Let Cheers. it ride. Any more calls, Ryan? Of course. All right. And feel free, shove someone in the locker if you're pissed off. Those are always great calls. Uh, love the touting, love the Monday night props. Any great sweats, feel free to call in. Yeah. Anyone on that Texans uh minus two and a half all time uh tough, tough beat there. Oh, uh, we got we got the uh SGPN football doc. Oh in. Sebastian. Uh, I w- I wonder if he's calling in to give you uh an ana- his professional Analysis on the uh, not injured knee of Jalen Hurts. Gentlemen, gentlemen, What's how up? are you doing? <laughs> Ryan, I, I, I'm surprised you w- wanted to bring up injured knees of quarterbacks. Well, I've completely moved on. Uh, Sebastian, I'm, I'm, I got my roughneck sweatshirt on. <laughs> I'm feeling yeah. great about life. I was under the sun watching youth soccer <laughs> while that abomination was happening. I mean, there, I, I don't want to get, I don't want to get any hate mail, but I mean. It, it was close to me invoking the word genocide. All wow. those Giants fan in Vegas, <laughs> they traveled all the way to Vegas just to be murdered, and slain, <laughs> with this just putrid, putrid shit. Sebastian, it, it was worse in the box score than it was watching. SB, SGPN football doc, how was your Sunday? I I legitimately tried to come on here to to not get upset about that that team that shall not be named. Yeah, we can uh, we don't, uh, talk about something else, please. Yeah, no, I wanted to congratulate uh, you know Sean on uh, taking down Dallas Let's in go. two di- two different ways. Looks like uh, you know you you beat the Cowgirls and you also lost uh, Dallas Goddard for probably about a month, if not longer. Yeah, great so- uh, great time to have you on here. It looks like he said he fractured his forearm. How? Uh, what are we thinking? Four four games because they do have yeah, the bye week next week. He's likely an IR candidate, right? So I mean, it's it's a little dependent on the size of the fracture and the location. But I'm thinking, you know, based on what we're talking about, at least four weeks. Worst case, eight weeks, because uh, it's not something you can really play with a cast because he's got to catch the ball, right? So it's not something you can just cast up and send him out there. So unfortunately, him being a pass catcher, he's going to be missing a decent amount of time there. I'm really interested to see how this mustache bet plays out now. <laughs> yeah, now that now first. that Waller Waller and Goddard are probably going to be on the I, well, Waller's already on the IR. 
Goddard probably going to be on the IR. Uh, it's really going to come down to how fast they can come back and if they can do anything. And the Giants have no one that can throw a football. Uh, so uh, it's Tyrod gonna, will be back soon. I, so it, Tyrod, well, I thought he was IR too. No. Uh, yeah. After that. I, I, oh, okay. Uh, Matt Barkley will hold down the yeah. ship. So uh, just hide with the fucking Fromm. sake one. Seriously. Can we bring back uh, Jake Fromm. We might want to run a quick oh. again. But right, no, we, we're not. We're not talking about that that team. I'm here to talk about uh, just you know how much how great gambling is to take you away from from just some <laughs> sad moments because uh, <laughs> I cast a fifty six to one oh. anytime touchdown parlay today. Oh my god. Now, where was this on Tell the pregame show, Sebastian? <laughs> oh, listen, I I can show you the stamp, but I literally <laughs> paste, placed it at like uh, so one o'clock. I think it was like one o one, so wow. right before kicks. And yeah, it was at any time. So it was Taysom Hill, Brian Robinson, Aaron Jones, and who was my last one? Kareem Hunt. Oh. <laughs> Yep. So that was fifty six to one. I even fucked up, and I meant to just do the normal like ten dollars pizza bet, and I hit eighteen. That probably helped me <laughs> a couple extra hundred bucks there. So uh, love it. Excellent, dude. Another four hundred and forty eight there. Huh? Yeah. So no, I was just here to say that despite uh, my Gators fucking around and not knowing how to execute a normal QB spike, and the Giants just um, whatever the fuck they're doing, uh, gambling. You know, it can help you out, right? Talk about the good things in life, hunt the good stuff, and uh, that's what gambling's there for to cash motherfucking 56 to 1. <laughs> Let's go. Late. See, that is the great thing. If your team sucks, there's always gambling. Great, great message to send to the folks. Well, uh, make sure you follow him on Twitter, aka X at SGPN Football Doc. Great uh, in, in, injury analysis. And the only doctor I know that gives out a 56 to 1 anytime touchdown parlay. <laughs> so thank you. Uh, thank you, medical professional. Uh, Sebastian and uh, let, it let, ride, it ride. let it ride. Let it ride. Let it ride, boys. All right, Ryan. Hey, so, some might say before you get to that that uh, Tyrod hit a fifty-six to one uh, parlay from that doctor on the Chargers. <laughs> so, some might. Say. He did cash pretty big. Um, and Ryan, by the way, uh, don't co- no one had, can complain about anyone any combination of their teams. Uh, Virginia Tech and the Giants lost sixty-four to nine this weekend. <laughs> Come on, you can't even get the sixty-nine. There's a no, I, yeah, I mean, unfortunately, sixty to nine, close. they couldn't even give you that. A couple extra points and a field goal away. Shout out to Prize Picks. Uh, love picking more or less over on Prize Picks with some of your favorite fantasy players. If you're listening to our NFL Picks uh, sh- show, which you should be listening to, and uh, you could have heard us give out our Prize Picks lineup for this week, it was Marquise Hollywood Brown uh, lower. Uh, 48 and a half receiving yards and Amari Cooper more than four and a half receptions. So Amari Cooper gets there with five uh, Marquise Brown gets there with 24 receiving yards. Nice. Plus Dog. 300 cash over on prize picks and could have even got more cash. If you signed up with prizepicks.com slash SGPN, get that hundred percent deposit match up to $100. Of course they got the reboot policy. So maybe you started uh, Daniel Jones, who got uh, injured in the first half. Unfortunately, if you have a player who exits the game in the first half, does not return in the second half, uh, which happened with Daniel Jones, that player is rebooted. Prizepix is the only daily fantasy sports platform with an injury insurance policy. Just go to PrizePix.com/sgpn to get started today to get that first deposit match up to one hundred dollars. Prizepix daily fantasy sports made easy. <sighs> Can't help to want, but wonder, kind of witchcraft you and your dad practice <laughs> back together celebrating injuries once again. Oh no, we did not celebrate. It was I did not even make my dad's radar. Awesome. I'll be honest. Uh, Chiefs twenty one, Miami Dolphins fourteen. Chiefs got out. What they were up twenty one nothing, right? Twenty one nothing. Kind of took the foot off the gas after. Ho hum, yawn, and then there's this weird. It might have been twenty one seven at this point. Little weird stretch. Mahomes uh, out of bounds. He gets drilled. The ref, uh, Gene Steratore, comes on and explains. Well, it was near the first down, and the defensive player already committed. What? They constantly throw this bullshit, yeah. especially on guys like Mahomes. No flag. All right, not a big deal. They're they're not doing that bullshit overseas. They were uh, they were too worried about getting the uh, German pronunciation of uh, <laughs> false start or whatever they false start. 
Uh, and then bam, and what do you know? Tua gets kind of a bullshit roughing the passer, and Tua, I'm sure the two and on will come after me for this Tua, take. But Tua looked rough, and it, I, I guess the difference in the game was that Tyree Kill catch and then fumble that uh, Chiefs defense took it to the house. But Tua had some throws that were, and now Tua's streak continues 406 days without beating a, a team above 500. Those streaks are great too, because. You know, most of the calendar year you're not playing anyone, but 406 days sounds like forever. And uh, yeah, Dolphins just can't step up in class. No, uh, no, I, th- this it got interesting, but it got interesting in the most like Andy Reid yeah. scripted way possible. It, yes. it just it, almost I wanted to kind of look at Patrick Mahomes, be like, "What are you doing, bro?" And other big takeaway is Rashi Rice. I think is his guy, uh, aside from Kelsey. Like if we're talking yeah. about Mahomes. Yep. Only prop I missed was the Mahomes uh, completions and uh, on the prop show, and yeah, I, I think it's going to continue to vary game to game. I really? do. I think it's going to be. Does seem like he likes Rashi Rice though. He trusts him, uh, which is good because it does seem like either the offense is complicated or Mahomes has trust issues. But it ta- sometimes it takes some time. MVS first catch doesn't even come close to sniffing the ladder. <laughs> then he has a big drop too at the end. We definitely would have hit hit the low uh maybe like the first 3 rungs. Uh Vikings 31, Atlanta Falcons 28. This was a bonkers game start to finish. I mean that Jaron Hall get knocked out right on the goal line. Uh Josh Dobbs coming in. I I mean I, I know it went against your Falcons Ryan. No, I'm 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 out on the Falcons too. Okay. The Josh Dobbs Dump, dumping a couple teams this week. The Josh Dobbs story is just cool, man. Like I, you, you, this guy's dream just came true. He got traded the week of. He apparently didn't take any snaps <laughs> in practice because they were they were yeah. using all their practice time to get Jared Hall ready, <laughs> which makes sense. And Josh Dobbs, there was a video of him on the sideline when he was coming in. All the linemen came around, and so they could hear how his snap count went, so that they could get on the same page. Uh. uh <laughs> I mean, if you're a Falcons fan, you have to feel pretty, pretty horrible. As someone who backed the the Falcons, I felt I feel felt great about the belt bet until Jaron Hall got hurt. Yeah, and then I still felt good when Dobbs was giving up a safety and and fumbling the ball. <laughs> but then the well, Falcons just a, kept getting a, field goals. You had a hilarious line right when he came in. You go. Well, you know the cool, th- the good thing about Jaron Hall is he's not gonna get. He's not uh, gonna. Dobbs, Dobbs. Oh, sorry. The cool thing about Josh Dobbs is he's not gonna give up a huge negative play, <laughs> and then literally he gets safety right after that. I did point. But he out, played. He played yeah. very well. well. Wasn't a pick six. They would have lost no. the game if he had a pick six. No, there. it's Fumble. true. Uh, it, what does this tell you about his intelligence or everyone else's intelligence? He didn't take a fucking snap. People talk about all these offenses like they're fucking rocket science. You have an actual rocket scientist, and he literally he flip he flips through the page of the book once or twice. He got traded on Tuesday, Sean. Yeah. Well, Ryan, awesome uh, highlight of fantasy are Jonu Smith and our high stakes fantasy oh, league. Uh, tell me, tell me how fucking five, awesome I am. Five for one hundred and a touchdown. Awesome work snagging him uh, again. Another Woo. flat. Flat week from Bijan Robinson. Did we win? Oh yeah, we we won. Nice, doing well in that league. Well, we year. still have Garrett Wilson going, so Ryan, well, we're looking pretty good. Oh wow, I, I think tough, tough, uh, not a good coaching performance from Arthur Smith to lose this game at home. No, no, I'm uh, clearly outside forces are getting inside Arthur Smith's head. <laughs> I, he I, seems ra- he uh, genuinely seems rattled. That feels like we put that on a graphic. Yeah. Outside forces are getting inside <laughs> Arthur Smith's head, and just find the funniest picture of Arthur Smith possible. Ravens thirty-seven, Seattle three. Uh, when we were in Circa, Ryan, I was putting in all my bets, and the last one where I was like, "Ah, should I pull the trigger?" I'm like, "I should bet Ravens minus six, right?" And you're like, "Yeah, of course." So, I, I, luckily, I was fired. that not. God, we nailed that shit. I n- I'm on the Ravens this year, Sean. I am on this fucking. Well, Ravens and team. I've been I've been fading the Ravens a bunch, and I even got on them because I was like, this spot is so good for them. Geno's gonna mess up. He's gonna create some turnovers. the The only thing that scared me off was it was like it, something was saying this is too easy. Maybe Seattle is a dog, but I'm glad I got there. Uh, Lamar did have his textbook book fumble, but it really didn't matter. 
This no. is just Seattle is always going to lose this game. And uh, I'm sure he's in the chat, but merch guy Jake Paquin had to have just been fully erect when Keaton Mitchell started getting <laughs> carries in that that game. You want to? I mean, as someone who got got a little Keaton Mitchell in the old best ball streets, that was electric. I'll tell you that. Also, just just this game was so obvious. It was so obviously going. I I didn't even think it was going to be this bad, but Lamar, no. we really got. The Lamar home road splits are really starting to be a yeah. little bit out of control. But he still he still had and some he still had an ugly fumble. And the NFC thing, like yeah. 18 and 1 now straight up against the NFC. All right. Oh, uh Deshaun Watson, the Cleveland Browns, 27, Arizona, zero. Well, we have to talk about this game. Well, there is nothing more electric. Fuck amusement parks. You put a lot of money on the Browns <laughs> and you watch well, and them. Our circus survivor. And you watch them only when they have the ball inside the red zone <laughs> attacking cuz when there's plenty of space Deshaun can whatever he's fine yeah he gets inside that red area holy shit every play is a, that touchdown to Amari Cooper <laughs> are you kidding me well, he celebrated yeah. he celebrated after he threw the ball into the defense's helmet it bounced up in the air and Amari Cooper made a very heads up play to go up and get the ball yeah you were and going then he nuts. turned you around go, like How jesus can you celebrate he he's put his arms out like jesus <laughs> he put his arms out like lebron throwing the chalk in the air what is this guy is a delusional sociopath. You got to go up to uh, Amari Cooper and give him the high five and be like, great job. You don't celebrate by yourself. Like, uh, Amari Cooper, on? Amari Cooper did a great job of tracking that ball oh. and bringing it in for a touchdown. Again, nothing. The offense did mattered, Sean. Yeah. Uh, what did I say? The, I made a spread. Did I say the, the defense was favored by what? Two yeah. and a half points versus the Cardinals. <laughs> yeah. Did they? No, but it was a no. It, but, so, but still, it was a shutout. Though. Yeah, they dominated. <laughs> I mean, this one. If you took the Cardinals, you were just you got cute. You got cute. Yeah, I. I mean, unfortunately, everyone took. I have a feeling the every lots of people did well in the uh, circa. Yeah, um, Green Bay Packers twenty, Rams three. Uh, one of the one of the few games I got r wrong besides the Houston was. Taking the Rams plus three, I didn't bet it. This, this was never anywhere close to lock. This is where I, you got to trust. Like, you got to trust my market dynamics in games like this, Sean. <laughs> well, there was a chance Stafford was going to play. I don't this, know. This was classic Courtney Love. The spread didn't make any sense. Yeah, just Jordan, died, Jordan Love still looked pretty bad. <laughs> Fuck. I, I would not be excited <laughs> if I was a Packers fan. When Watson hurt, right? I, 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 I know he left the game. Uh, he had Watson open on one play, and he just like threw this this just glorious stuff. Quarterback play. I'm gonna lean into the statement because you pushed back last week. Quarterback play at an all time low. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and it's great to get back it's to that. Excellent. <laughs> it was. I'm with Colby on this. Bad quarterback play is excellent. Well, and and there was there was some bad quarterback play that was entertaining, but then there was bad quarterback play that I thought was interesting. I mean, like. You know, Josh Dobbs, no one's saying he's a good quarterback. 32 but that Josh was an Dobbs. Exciting game. You give me 32 Josh Dobbs, that's an electric NFL. Dude, he's a good football player. Uh, he's a dream backup quarterback, <laughs> honestly. Uh, the, what would the Browns? I mean, the Browns might win the Super Bowl if they still had Josh Dobbs. Dude, they're crazy <laughs> for getting rid of him. Dude, all right. So here's the here's the scenario now. Josh Dobbs wins the NFC North. Do we look up the odds and just at least wonder what 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 it might be? I mean, I, I feel like I feel like Vikings. You can just lock them up for uh, getting destroyed by the two seed in Wild Card Weekend. Like they they just have seven seed vibes right now. This over has them. not been reported yet, but I guarantee fucking t that Josh Dobbs has already been invited to stay with Kirk Cousins <laughs> to help him get up to speed in the offense. I'm not even fucking kidding you. We're gonna hear about an Antonio Brown, Tom Brady. <laughs> Pool house situation. That would be that would just be such a great uh, to be a fly on the wall of that conversation. Uh, you know, like uh, Josh Dobbs go like, yeah, one day I want to go to space. Kirk Cousins goes, you mean heaven? <laughs> like, no, no, uh, high in the sky. Yeah, heaven. No, like you can you can get in a in a in a giant rocket, and uh, if you're if you have enough G force to pull you outside of gravity, it's like. You got a funny way of going to heaven, Jared or Josh. I to, love you. Trying to explain exit velocity <laughs> to Kirk Cousins. Uh, they they seem like totally different dudes, but um, yeah. Just I, how can you not be a fan of Josh? Eight, to, eight to one on the on the Vikings. I mean, they, it seems like it's uh, Justin Jefferson could decide to 
playing yeah. football again this year. Josh Dobbs. He's like, all right, I'm in. Uh, Houston Texans 39, Tampa Bay box 37. Kind of hit on it uh, earlier, but just amazing performance by CJ Stroud. Of course, they lose their kicker. Uh, although their backup running back did hit like a 37 yard field goal, kind of weird scoring because they were having to go for two a bunch. And <laughs> then, uh, yeah, I mean, they scored when there was four seconds left. They didn't uh, attempt a field goal or two point. They just kneeled it. And we were going back and forth. I honestly don't know. Six seconds left. Do you try and kick the extra point? Let, let's say you did have your kicker. Cause I think not having your kicker changes this, the formula, but if you have your kicker and six seconds left, so the, I would still probably kick it. So it's like, if I had what, what's the new percentage for an extra point? Like 91%. I think no higher than that. Higher than that. I think 95%. So. Yeah. All right. So 95%. And then what's the probability that regardless of what happens in the kick, they then get themselves in a position to tie and or win the game. If the kick is missed with a return. Yeah. I mean, I think it's, I think it's 5%. I, I, I don't have the advanced analytics on it, but to me uh, b- ballpark, you're a gut handicapper. Yeah. I don't, I can't recall a time where someone blocked an extra point since we put in these, no, new- no, forget that. Forget that. What's okay. the probability that someone returns to then re- the 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 kickoff after yeah six seconds you make it or you make or miss regardless you're up by three or by two you still have to get the ball into position in six seconds yes so the most likely way to do that is a return how okay. lo- how to return the ball like that would you say five percent five five percent and then yeah I mean I I guess and I, then you have a kick that's probably what seven sixty seventy percent seventy five percent. Well, and then and then you would only tie the game as well, yeah. but I well, also or win or win if you because uh, we're ignoring that we're just saying what's the probability that you're able to get into position to get three points after this because the idea of kneeling it is saying I want to take that five that five percent of hey you could block this and return it I just want to kneel it down and remove that yeah but I I don't think that's I don't think that's five percent. I think that's like what I can't recall a time. You're right, because five percent are misses. How yes. many are blocks? Uh, blocks that are returned for touchdowns. It's like one in. But a how many? So what's more likely uh, that a kick is blocked and returned for two points, or that a, they muff the fumble and return it for two points in a clear kneel down play? I would I would rather kick the extra okay. point. I, I mean I, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see what the actual like advanced analytics are because. I I've seen hail Marys come close. I saw the Broncos hit on a hail Mary. I've seen some crazy Here, shit so far based on the math we were doing earlier. Yeah. The probability that you get into position to even attempt that game winning kick. Yeah. But also too, the other thing is either way you're kicking off after, right? So I don't, it's not like you ran off a bunch of time by kneeling it, you know? So I don't, it doesn't even help you in that situation. Yeah. So what I, all the kneel down does is eliminate the chance of that return thing. And to me, you're better off kicking the extra point. I think they would have kicked the extra point had they had their normal kicker. I think if you trust your, yeah, I, I think hit us up in the chat. Well, not having the kicker because then you, your touchback. I I think the probability is so low that they're getting the ball in a position to do something about it. That you probably it probably is wise to kneel it down and not give the randomness of a, an extra point getting blocked uh like to, to carry yeah, the game I get, the balance. Yeah, I I think if your kicker's healthy, you 100% kick it in my mind. Uh, but sound off in the chat. It's a, it's a good hypothetical. Commanders 20, New England Patriots 17, Commanders 3 point dogs get the win outright. Dog. <laughs> Ron Rivera now goes to three and O straight up and uh, ATS against uh, Bill Belichick. <laughs> the world we live in, Sean. Patriots worst record in the AFC. Uh, I mean, Commander Skins didn't look great in this either. I this was just a pretty ugly game. I I picked the Skins, but I didn't I didn't feel great about it. It was just kind of, hey, why? <laughs> Why that? Why should the Patriots be favored? It, that was Patriots, as simple as my handy. Yeah, Patriots should be put down, right? Mac Jones, we we saw him make a couple. Yeah, it's a baby fucking we, wheel, man. I would say that that's the problem. We there are still a couple bad quarterbacks lurking around. They still create electric play because the the, the yeah. throws are so bad. But 
wide open guys, kind of like Jimmy G and Devontae Adams, wide open guys just being clearly missed. Yeah. Yeah. Y- don't you don't have a better quarterback than Mac Jones? That can't be. I watched Bailey Zappi last year, right? I watched. P- throw out uh, who, who's the kid they got from. I almost said Malik Willis. Malik Cunningham. Yeah, Malik Cunningham. But then they like they cut him. They bring him back. He's a practice squad guy. But I do something different. Don't expect this. Mac Jones is going to change. Bill Belichick's just not a good coach. Is uh, this I, it? He's uh, he's done after this year. I mean, I'm Off sure. I'm sunset. sure he will still get work if he wants to continue working. But I wouldn't want him. I, Name a fan that is like dying to have Bill Belichick as their head coach. I have a great Besides idea. Decker. I, I have an idea. Who? Oh, like what it, fan base is excited that they got Bill Belichick? Bill Belichick goes back to college. <laughs> imagine Belichick. Maybe. I mean, as a guy who's like a uh, power hunter. Oh, that would never work. But imagine just the idea of it. Like it's like a movie. They are talking about um about him coming to uh, Vegas or him coming to. Uh, Get him coming to the the Chargers, but you, I mean, yeah, I guess. But the rumor, <clears throat> the rumor I've heard that we're not supposed to talk about is that uh, Jim Harbaugh to the Raiders. So keep that on. Your oh, not the Bears. No, yeah. Raiders. It, well, I mean, he it might change his mind when he sees Tyson Bajan play. <laughs> Special Agent Seventeen. Uh, Bears Seventeen, Saints Twenty Four. Got the cover there at eight. Interesting game. I mean, Bajent was dealing <laughs> early and often, um, and then you know w- one. R- so I'd say two bad interceptions, one fumble that was half his fault. Uh, DJ Moore fumbled, which wasn't his fault. He uh, can't throw like the ones where he wasn't being pressured yeah. and like could have just scrambled. He forced it, but <sighs> it, overall, like he he looks confident in the pocket. He keeps his eyes downfield. He's got a good ball. I mean. That for both touchdown passes to Komet were like really good throws, and Komet made well, great pl- great plays uh, on them. Uh, those were, I mean, the first Komet catch was one of the best. That's one of the best catches of the year. Yeah, and regardless of what happens, and they the they really were a live dog. And then it came down to the very end, where fortunate to get the cover because uh, they they fumbled again, and then uh, they had like it was that weird thing where the Saints were. If they got stopped, they would have kicked the field goal one by ten. But then they got the first down, but they didn't get the touchdown. All right, so here's a dumb question: All those years, Sean Payton was in New Orleans. We yeah. assumed it was Sean Payton maximizing the returns of this roster. Yes, always in win now mode, which means you're you're not you're, you're always kind of squeezing from the top. Now he leaves. He's been gone for a little bit, and they're they're winning the same kind of games. They're winning games where it's like, what the hell's going on here? People are challenging their offensive styles. Maybe it just took a little while. We did uh, last week. I was saying, remind me if John Gruden has to come in and help you install <laughs> your offense. Don't bet on that team. But I mean, here we are. They're going to be. A, I think it's fair to say they're going to be a playoff team. Well, I mean, they're five and four right now. Don't know who's getting in their way. Now uh, that I'm the, off the Falcons the wagon, South? it's very easy to see how bad they are. <laughs> You can't lose that Vikings game. You can't lose. <laughs> well, that this one. is going to be a this is a great game coming up because Saints Vikings are next week. Uh, what would you make that line, Ryan? Uh, where's the game? Uh, in Minnesota, Saints. I would say, and it's probably Dobbs. We're assuming Jaron Hall is not, not. Yeah, I mean they traded down for, for he Dobbs. Was, he's down for the count. Yeah, they traded for Dobbs. So and he won I'm, a game with no practice, so they're probably pretty stoked. Yeah, people will. Uh, I think you got to make it Saints, Saints minus two and a half. Really, I'm saying Saints minus three. Okay, let's see if we can find a line on I, that. You don't, you don't think the Dobbs? Uh, Saints minus two and a half, minus one twenty. So mean, it's not my first time doing. <laughs> wow, that's crazy because I, I don't like this Saints team. There have been people that t- tell us we should uh, completely rip off the guess the lines, but mm. do it ourselves. I would just get everyone right though. You hear, you, <laughs> yeah, I, it's boring. Come yeah, on, come on. Colts twenty seven, Carolina thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I mean, we had this game on, but I, I was fairly tuned out of it. Um, my buddy in our, uh, in our circle millions I'm doing with from high school, he actually had the Panthers. I picked the Colts, So I was kind of horrible pick. Yeah. I, I, I should have maybe tried to talk him out. We still went four and one, um, which you can't say about Bryce young, Bryce young, three interceptions and they were bad interceptions. Uh, he doesn't look right. The Adam Thielen, Adam Thielen still did have five catches, uh, falling off a little bit for his PPR machine uh, stuff. 
Jonathan Taylor not getting the loser. ladder going. 18, loser. 18 of 47. Minshew, 127 yards. Like Embarrassing. I mean, Colts, Col- Colts won by 14 points on the road, but like, man. Not not like a impressive. You, you brought up the ladder and reminded me that we we almost uh, played a ladder that wasn't a prop. We were just going to do the uh, alt chief spreads. Yeah. How annoyed would we have been if we did that? I mean, oh, uh, just gross. Yeah, we didn't. Car- all right. So, wa- all right, will will there be sharps talking about wanting to play the Panthers next week? <laughs> the sharps love the Panthers. I don't get it. They they're just gluttons uh, for punishment. Well, is this like a proof? This strikes this is me. This just a. I'm smarter Frank, than you. Frank Reich, longtime leader, mm. dealt with annoying owners before. Oh, you want that to happen? Okay, go ahead. And now he's letting it happen, just like the owner wants, and it's working out worse. Kyle uh, P uh, noted a Vikings fan, great uh, friend from uh, Canada. He's saying, "Hey, mate." No, that's not, that's he said Australian. he's going to the Vikings game. Oh. Go Vikings! Take the Vikings. It's like cocaine. It is a wild ride uh, betting on the Vikings. Can and I now that they have Josh Dobbs, it's they're a fun team to watch. Early take in the week, so this is you know maybe not something I would run to the window with, but I really think I'm going to love this Vikings team in a teaser. Yeah, I was going to say great, great teaser, teaser, teaser like, great teaser. Like. <laughs> hey, uh, quick, <laughs> quick reminder. This show is sponsored by better help. Um, better help. Find your bright spot this season with better help. Fall is here. The holidays are coming, man. The holidays can be super stressful dealing with family, travel, personal stuff, uh, work stuff coming to the end of the sea, uh, end of the calendar year. And and sometimes it's easy to get uh, overstressed. I, I get stressed out a ton. I mean, just sweating out all these games, dealing with SGPN, uh, you know, dealing with family, personal life. It it's easy to have that stress add up. You don't have a healthy way to uh, way to vent about it, or you're just you know singing the blues a little bit. Nothing to be ashamed of. And uh, think about it. All the all these great athletes, they always talk to someone. They always talk to a uh, sports psychiatrist. And uh, you know, same can be said for you. Uh, if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, uh, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. All you got to do: fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists at no uh, at any time for no additional charge. Find your bright spot this season with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com/sgpn today to get 10% off your first month. That's B-E-T-T-E-R Help.com/sgpn. Little bit of a debate in the chat. Ha, if you have already gotten to the pretzel crust. <laughs> uh faceless place saying, God <laughs> damn it, and I missed the pretzel crust pizza raid. Well, uh, faceless plays. Luckily that delicious golden brown buttery salty crust is available for pickup or delivery. <laughs> He also maybe we uh, instead of a bonus lock, we just do a, a uh, bonus pretzel, pretzel crust read. <laughs> Fans love it. Ryan. Yes. Um well, the Giants lost thirty to six. I was on the Raiders. They were doing it. For they Antonio lost more Pierce. than thirty to six. They lost Daniel Jones uh, for the season. Unfortunately, it looks oh, they like they lost a lot of fans. Unfortunately, it looks like um, uh, he's torn his ACL. Any, I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to rub salt in the wounds. So I'll, I'm not going to comment. No on the, I'm not going to comment on the game. The, the beauty of them. The time is yours. The beauty of us uh, cratering out emotionally already is that. The second, so I, I'm I'm watching on the small screen. I'm at I'm at soccer. I'm already dealing with some shit. Watching on the screen, got the thing in the ear. I, I hear the audio of um, Jones go down, non-contact. Like, oh okay, hmm. This is the exact thing. And you know what this is? This is a decade of Nagel's bagels and his negative energy. <laughs> Finally coming to a head. I don't know. One hundred percent, the Giants will be in the quarterback market in the draft this year. Uh, I they, they don't have a serve. Tyrod comes back. Maybe I can uh, snake you on the mustache bet because they held out Dallas Goddard longer than they need to because he's rest the rest of them. But yeah, I, the crazy part about like the Dan Jones thing is. 
uh, my my best ball stuff kind of popped their head up a little bit this mm. week, even though uh, he's on a lot of the teams because guys like C.J. Stroud, real dogs, mm. going out there getting five oh. touchdowns. Yeah, I, I mean that. A, it, it was the dead coach bounce. Yes. B, they were smoking cigars in, in the locker room afterwards. <laughs> it could be a this crater after be a, this one. This is going to be a hilarious. Antonio team Pierce yelling at the camera. Did you see the story about how apparently the the final straw was um, was uh, there was like a play uh, there was a, a team only meeting and and the team was just like going nuts on Josh McDaniel yelling at him and then Antonio Pierce took over and like addressed the team and he was saying. Uh, he was comparing the the Raiders how they need that 07 Giants energy the way they took down the Patriots and apparently Josh McDaniels like don't talk about the Patriots that way and th- but basically it sounded Josh McDaniels literally lost control of the team in the meeting Antonio Pierce stood up and they just basically made him the coach that's yeah that's a coup I mean, it, you know, who knows where they're getting this shit from but and they bent hilarious. McDaniels over and uh, pillaged him as they dragged his Fucking carcass out of the building. Any, any and, and the, well, that the, also uh, you saw the news. Like Mark Davis apologized the entire team about wasting their season. <laughs> you saw that? No, I. Oh didn't. my god! I mean, it sounds like Mark Davis should have listened to that fan that was screaming at him when he was sitting at his seat to oh, fire I'm McDaniels. Sure that got to him. a little earlier. He's like, I'm God sure damn that it! Got to him. That common man was right. I should have <laughs> fired him. Yeah, no, not much. Uh, not much else to add. We're g- it's just going to be an evaluation from here on out. I have to see how. Uh, we'll any see any what any thoughts on Dable quarterback going fe- going forward? Any any big picture thoughts? Uh, I would like to see uh, what we have in everyone. All right, Dra- quarterback will be probably drafted this year. I would imagine there'll be a uh, Giants currently sit fourth in the draft. Twenty years ago. They drafted a quarterback fourth. Well, they traded up from fourth mm. overall to draft a quarterback. Who is that? Won a couple Super Bowls. <laughs> we'll be in the Hall of Fame. Currently, Jeff, Jeff Hostetler uh, also um, stole our sick uh, sim play-by-play layout for the oh, Manning yes. cast. Fucker. Phil yeah, no. glad glad you're happy. No, I'm not. I, I knew that when you and your dad were watching the game, <laughs> they something bad was going to happen. <laughs> we were not. We were locked in. We were laser focused, Ryan. On the Eagles Giants. You gotta be careful. Teetering on the edge of a critical injury. No, I that's I, why you're not celebrating. You realize how serious this is. I don't is. want anyone to get hurt, right? You, rea- you, you realize how serious this it is. It was unfortunate. You you saw it. Um I, I do I I do have a question. Let's talk sure. about the Eagles game. Eagles get the win and the cover, never in doubt. I love the people I like cut a video celebrating there. What? Never in doubt? They almost lost that game. <laughs> Do people not realize when I'm fucking around? Say never a doubt. Yeah, it, it was a crazy game, crazy ending. The world's really a strange place. <laughs> like, do you not know how to cut a fucking promo? Yeah. I, well, guess what, guys? Fifty-one percent. We barely got there. The, uh, I, yeah, I like the Eagles' chances. I thought they played a, a pretty good game. Defense had some issues there. They were flagged for a ton of penalties, in spite of the fact that the refs were quote unquote on their side. Um, little sloppy there, but it comes down to Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts balled out. He uh, his knee that was already banged up coming into this game got banged up again, but now he got to the bye with a huge victory, eight and one, and now uh, get a little rest. They got uh, they got Kansas City coming up in Kansas City off the bye on a Monday night. That's going to be a massive game. Eagles banged up in general, like we talked about. Uh, Dallas Goddard hurt there. A secondary, a little nicked up as well, and and just didn't. You know, I think Bradbury, Darius Slay, I I do worry that they're becoming a bit of a liability. But the we see it time and time again where the defensive line bails them out, especially late. Hassan Reddick had a very good game. Josh Sweat, who, if you listen to the national people, he never gets any sort of recognition, but his hurries, his pressure stats, are right up there with anyone in the in the league. So. A lot of talent on the team, and at the end of the day, you got Jalen Hurts, who now has won twelve straight uh, games against the team with a winning record. Um, last couple games, five hundred sixty-six total yards, seven touchdowns, zero turnovers, twenty-five and two in his last twenty-seven starts. He's a baller. 
Be careful looking in that rear view. No, I'm got a tough stretch coming up. We do. And that's why it feels good going to the bye week. You can reassess, get him some rest. Clearly his uh knee is is not ailing injured. him. It, he re aggravated a not injury. That was <laughs> that was confusing. No, I mean he's obviously he's obviously hurt, but he's playing through it. And playing at a high level. So hats off to him. I mean, the guy is tough as nails. He embodies the spirit of Philadelphia. And he wasn't gonna he wasn't gonna not play that game. And when his knee got bent back, he just gritted it out and and played through it and kept getting some nice balls to uh AJ Brown. I mean, that touchdown pass he threw to Devonta Smith, that's one of the best throws um this season. So playing at an extremely high level. And Kenny Gainwell, who he's back. We uh we had the shovel out. We were digging his grave. Uh, great game for Kenny Gainwell. Maybe getting him off our ETH team. Finally maybe, did it. Maybe that had something to do with it, Sean. All right, you want to? Just was that? The, oh, do we? Did we talk about the? We didn't talk about the uh, Sunday night game, did we? No, nope, that's next. All right. We got the Cincinnati Bengals. My lock. Uh, coming up, twenty-four to eighteen. Got the win. Got the cover. Joe Burr, aka Joey B. I was told Demar Hamlin was going to be out there. I thought he would. I'm. I'm it was they, all promotion for a fucking good day, uh, New York. <laughs> they really, interview. they really were promoting that. And I was on the. Uh, I thought he would get in the end zone. He almost did, but the Joe Burrow running aspect, I think, is is something to keep an eye on. Do you on. remember how anti Josh Allen anytime touchdown you were? No, I didn't say that this morning. Oh, I said ah, pick something else. I said I don't want to put it in there because I'm going to be rooting hard for the Bengals. I didn't say Just I didn't such like it. Easy as a bet. money at plus one seventy. It that, was that was I, when we talked about it. I said it was a good bet, but when we were talking about putting the parlay together, I didn't. I didn't this want to put a, it in. This was a great. It wouldn't have mattered because Jaron. We were always going to have Jaron Hall, and Jaron Hall yeah, got that's murdered. That's true. Uh, this was an all time week for Sean being discouraging about things that ended up being very, very true. Really. What else was I? I mean, I did go eleven and two eighteen. No, no, yeah, yeah, but there, I hit there the were, Darnell there, there were, there were just some discussions about, uh, you know, our, basically us talking about ladder bets for the Veasan show. Uh, we we got away from some things. Um, Mark Andrews receptions uh, was one. You you know him. Oh Mark come on, Ryan, you want me to go back on some of Wait, your takes? No, no, I'm, 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 I'm just, well, you, you usually love to bring those up. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't bring up. Your, I'm just saying uh, this was an all time. This was an all time. Like, all right, we could have, we could have, well, you we want to really could have been on the moon. Well, we could have been on the moon. We were on the moon, Ryan. Cause Cincinnati minus two, in spite of some people uh, on some sharp podcasts, liking Buffalo to win the game outright. We uh, stuck to our guns I and we Tamar got him in the was circuit playing. millions. I was cut. told Tamar Hamlin was playing. <laughs> they were, He's not getting that fucking comeback player of the war a year award anymore. He's not winning that award. You, ha- you had to play in this game. Yeah. They are you, should, they oh, interesting. I, are I, you wavering? I, I, I still think what are, they, what are the, odds well, the other time? guy, the other guy that's nipping at his heels was Tua, And I don't think he's, I think they're just going to give it to him in uh, like as, as a ceremonial thing, Josh Dobbs, baby. What's he coming back from nowhere? Who gives a shit space? I mean, he's more interesting. I mean, we got to get someone else. Maybe John Mechie can have a great. Hamlin's minus one hundred and five right now. Two is plus one seventy five. How could you give it a, a two? <laughs> Hamlin was minus one thousand, <laughs> and now he's minus one hundred and five, and he already he got activated once this season. Yeah, but you you keep thinking they, it they, matters how much you play or how well you play. You're right. That's I, not what. Do you remember they gave it to Alex Smith? I, I, was it because he had a great year? No, it's because he almost died uh, and they almost took his leg off and instead he showed up uh, and played like five plays. Yeah. That's true. This De- is that is DeMar he's Hamlin. A quarter, he's a quarterback. DeMar Hamlin died on the field. What more do you want? And any value in taking Brees Hall plus 800? No. What if he finishes strong? Carries that team to the playoffs? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I don't know. Maybe My, he died. John Mechie, seventy-five to one, still coming back from cancer, but not getting the usage, unfortunately. <laughs> he he's not on good day, uh, good day, uh, good morning, LA. It's true. He's no one. No one yeah. gives a shit about his. Is Tua on leukemia. there? Is Tua on there? No, he's not. Well, they might be weight loss battling with weight loss. Hey, we got to get to our props before we do that. Shout out to Game Time. 
Love game time. Great way to get last minute tickets. Uh, lowest price guaranteed with the good folks over at game time. I use game time when I went to the uh, Eagles Rams game. It was a ton of fun and it was great. It was great being able to wait till the last minute because I had some friends that were like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go. And then, of course, they completely flake. So I didn't get the tickets. I waited till the very last second, got the tickets. Great deal. And uh, also check out the, they have these flash deals. So not only um, do you start off with the lowest tickets because again, they're low price guarantee. Uh, if you can find a cheaper ticket, same section, same row for less game time will credit you 110% of the difference. You can't do it. Don't even try uh, game time has you covered. Use that promo code SGPN for $20 off your first purchase terms apply again, create an account and redeem the code SGPN for $20 off download game time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. And we're also brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets. We're going to be talking D Gen parlays. You know, I'm always checking out uh, D Gen parlays and what's going on over on Hall of Fame Bets. They got that sweet deep data button. Uh, you can uh, break down each leg of the parlay and optimize it. It, it. it just makes it so easy. I can't tell you how many times I've looked and saw, oh, okay, how many times has Brees Hall gone over uh, 64 yards in the past? 24 games. Why, why should I have to manually, you know, go through, read all the lines. I mess up half the time. Hall of fame bets has you covered. Stop betting in the dark and join over 30,000 users researching with hall of fame bets to craft more intelligent data driven parlays. Download the hall of fame bets app or visit a bets.com and use code SGPN to get 50% off your first month today. Start researching, start winning with hall of fame bets. <sighs> All right. Uh, uh, we didn't even talk. We didn't. I feel like we didn't talk that much about the game itself. Bills, Bengals. I mean, Josh Allen. Just the uh, interception streak continues. I think some of this ga- this game has to be on him. Like they they needed to put up more points. I l- really liked what I saw out of the Bengals defense. Joe Burrow looks comfortable running. I thought both defenses showed me some stuff in both offenses. It's like the, they're probably going to get better before the end of the year. Uh, although I would say uh, I, I in a rematch, it would be hard, be hard for me to take the bills. It, I I'm, I'm not, I, I think something's going to change. There's serious issues at Buffalo. They they've hit a wall. Hot take. Yeah. Dawson Knox means more to that team than like Dalton Kincaid went off. Who gives a shit? Yeah. They can't run the ball. Where are those bills fans chirping at me in the mentions about <laughs> when, Well, actually we have a great running game again, when you need it, you can't get it. That's the story of this game. Uh, glad you uh, took the Bengals in the contest, Sean. Thank you. Uh, th- has this revived us this year? Five and up. We did go five it's and up. It's unfortunate that it's the end of the quarter, not the beginning. Ah, we we you, you can't be upset about a five and zero week run. No, you wash it out. Let's do it again. Let's go. I feel like you always have to sacrifice and give a bad week to get a great week. When's the last time we were five and zero? Of course, neither of us parlayed our picks. No. Did not do that. That's why. It, that's why it hit. <laughs> you can't do it the rest of the year. Said I had Bears money line in there. Yeah, don't even get me started. <laughs> was fun. They, uh, Bajan was a, he was a live dog there for a little bit. Uh, do you want to know who's going to be a close your eyes special next week? Sure. Yeah, I mean, we 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 might have to think about amending the rule because the Giants are a close your eyes special. <laughs> Oh, that's the. I mean, of course we got to play the Giants then. Well, guess who they're playing, Sean? Who? We solved a lot of problems. They're taking on the Cowboys. Oh, okay. So, so never mind. Yes, yeah, so you're on the. You're, well, you're taking the Cowboys. Oh no, no. Oh, no. okay. Uh, also, close your eyes, special Seattle. Hmm. I haven't looked at who they're playing or and or if they'll be a favorite, but. Yes. All right. Let's get to the props. I'll kick things off. Give me Justin Herbert under one and a half passing touchdowns. I'm on the Jets. This is a fun way to correlate it. Um, Jets have only allowed eight passing touchdowns this season. It, to me, it's just it, it's going to be a tough matchup for him. I think throwing the football. Um, maybe they get. I I think the way you attack this Jets team is on the ground. Uh, so I do think if they're getting touchdowns, it's going to be Austin Eckler. Uh, and yeah, one and a half passing touchdowns. I, I'm just still skeptical a little bit here of Justin Herbert against elite defenses on the road in prime time. So yeah, give me Justin Herbert under one and a half passing touchdowns. Yeah, interesting. I, I, Decker kind of got in my head a little bit about the 
some of the matchups that he thinks that will be positive for his chargers. And it, it did involve some stuff that like he, he kind of thinks Keenan Allen's going to be able to ha- be fine. It's going to be hmm. the other stuff that won't work as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I, I like the angle though. I think in general, um, if you're on the jets, like you're, you're attacking their ability to pass the ball. All right. I, I like a Herbert prop. I think he is going to be under some pressure. Give me over eight and a half rushing yards. We've seen this before. Primetime game. Yeah. Justin Herbert got to have it. He's more mobile than you think. And he's had a couple games this year. I mean, he had a 12 carry game against the Raiders. Uh, the Dallas game is the one that stood out six carries, 20 yards. That's all we're looking for here. Get uh, evade, get, evade a couple blitzes, get a couple yards, over eight and a half rushing yards. If you've ever watched a game with Justin Decker, he'll remind you. This kid's mobile, he's yeah, he a, and is. he'll let you know he's on the over 300 yards uh, season rushing yards. <laughs> uh, which, by the way, he's—I uh, don't think he's on pace for. For me, speaking of rushing, Ryan, give me Brees Hall over 56 and a half rushing yards. Chargers 20th in rush defensive DVOA. How do you get anything going on the Jets' offense? You do whatever it takes to get the ball out of Zach Wilson's hands and into Brees Hall's hands. Uh, all Hall. Electric runner, and yeah, I think could be a comeback player of the year. Eight yeah, to one. eight to one, <laughs> right up there. Coming off a weird game against the Giants, where he everything he did was in the air, so that's always concerning. And uh, one play, yes, one and, play through the air. And his, uh, yeah, his receiving yards have been up past couple games, but I think this is a good game for him to pound the rock. I think they're going to get him twenty carries. Fifty six and a half, very doable for Brees Hall. How does he not get that? I, he's just not getting the carries. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on in New York, but I, I think, yeah, I think they got to give it to him. Especially the matchup, just it was you can run on this Chargers defense. Most people have. You can also check it down against this Chargers defense. True. His any thought? What was the yardage number? Sean, fifty six and a half. Okay. Would would you any any thought on doing the combo, the rush and receiving yards for Brees Hall seventy nine and a half. Hmm. You want just the rushing? Uh, all right. Yeah, you talked me into it. Combo is seventy nine and a half. I I don't know what's better. I don't. Nah, I don't you know what? I'll just stick I, with rush. I don't Anytime have. Anytime I make take. these last <laughs> second changes, it always it yeah. always fucks me in the ass. So. Yeah, give me give me Brees Hall over fifty six and a half rushing. All right, so I wanted to bring some awareness up uh, about the ladder we discussed on Vsin Sports Gambling Podcast Live, nine p.m. Pacific, midnight East on Fridays. Conklin, Tyler Conklin, yeah, receiving over two and a half receptions. Uh, It's a good matchup. We like his involvement, and um, I think just specifically against the Chargers, he's going to have some room to work. So. Again, you watch. I keep citing Justin Decker, but super fan uh, hates their linebackers. Just absolutely <laughs> hates their linebackers. Yeah, you, you got to work to take Garrett Wilson away. So I think Conklin's going to have some easy stuff. Same way that Brees Hall might have some checkdown type stuff. Uh, it will be there over two and a half receptions. Yes, I love it. Give I'm, me some Bruce Pearl on that one. Smash it. Smash. I think I got up to. Uh, let me see how high my. Uh, <laughs> I'm teetering on the edge with this Tyler Conklin ladder. Uh, it's pretty high. I mean, did we do receptions or yards with Conklin? Receptions. I'm almost positive. No, you're right. It's it's receptions because the top's like a, a like a seventeen to one banger or something silly, right? Yeah, I'm sitting on uh, seven or more. I got uh at like ten to one. Okay. Yeah, six or more is like plus five fifty. So yes, get on, hop on the Tyler Conklin ladder. Just wanted to bring some ladder awareness. Yes, um, we're ladder advocates. Huge ladder advocates. Just uh, just doing some advocating. People love the ladder chatter. As CJ always says. Uh, next up for me, give me Zach Wilson <laughs> over thirteen and a half rushing yards. Ooh, interesting. Is he running this year? I I didn't even dig up his stuff. I I He's knew I was hit last four games. Wow, bad. What? Bad and young quarterbacks panic and they run. Are they are they watching the games before they make these lines? I don't think so. Oh. It, it, this is just comically low. Comically low. Yeah. Kramer, what's your last one? All right, uh, I'm gonna flip to the other side of the ball, Sean. Bryce off 
He's got a sack in the last three games. Kind of it came to my attention in the run up to the Giants Jets game. A lot of a lot of good stuff about this guy. A lot of pressures, a lot of he has uh, like the fastest get off in the league. He, just a lot of things where it was like oh, he's going to pop and and he kind of has over the last couple of weeks. So over half uh, or sorry, over a quarter sack for him is plus 180. Ooh, I'm going to say that again. He's had a sack in three straight weeks. Yes. Over a quarter yes, sack uh, is plus uh 180. And okay, Chargers not the worst offensive line, not the best offensive line, somewhere in the middle. But I, I think that the opportunities will be there. And you've seen this Jets defense. They as the game goes, they seem to tighten their noose. And so they they'll they'll have some opportunities and hope hopefully, hopefully my Chargers are still able to score some points. <laughs> I'm, I have not dumped them as a team yet. Okay. Still in on the Chargers. First touchdowns. You got to go back to Donald Parham. Do I, you? Yes. 17 to 1. He's really the only guy I like on the uh, Chargers. Uh, Decker did say uh, keep an eye on Jalen Guyton if he's activated. So well, stay tuned. He might be a late add. Well, I know, but I, I didn't see him we available. Saw, they put uh, they added um, Palmer to the IR probably to make room for him. Yeah, I don't think he's been added to the. He's certainly not added to the prop market. Unfortunately, okay. so. Then uh, Tyler Conklin, other tight end uh, for the Jets. I I like this as a Conklin game. Uh, Zach Wilson, thirty-five to one, and then Nick Bowden. Ryan, you Whoa. know who he is. Whoa. He's a New York Jets fullback. He has one carry this season for one yard, and it's a touchdown. Run it back, seventy-five to one. Let's go. You know, when I saw they were listing Israel Abanaconda, I was like, <laughs> well, I didn't fall for that bait. Wouldn't that be something? All right. Uh, yeah. Conklin, I'm 100% agreeing with you. I'm also agreeing with you on Zach Wilson. It's a, it's a quarterbacks uh, system play uh, both Zach Wilson, which again, 25 to one for a guy. He, he has the, the way my only concern about him in the red zone is he's probably been like tied down, waterboarded and whipped to, to be like, do not put the ball in harm's <laughs> way when we are near the end zone. But I, I am going to play him at plus 2,500 Herbert being 18 to one uh, right behind him. there, uh, also great play. I'm in on Justin Herbert for this one. And then the last one, I think you still have to play the chargers defense. I think you still have to okay. play defenses against Zach Wilson. If they're going to price his interception at minus 170. I think you have to play the defense in the first touchdown market. So it's fair. System says to do it. I'll do it. All right. Time for the DJ's only bet for me. Hashtag DJ's well, only. Before we get to that, sure. Again, um, some of us are ladder advocates. Okay. I got my ladder in. No, I understand that. Okay. We, we, I, I, I brought a lot of ladders to the office <laughs> on Sunday. You did. But you were uh, earlier. You were talking, and I'm not. I'm not necessarily on Brees Hall. I mean, on the charge or on the Jets. Yes. But Brees Hall. If I was going to get involved in Brees Hall, I would look to ladder it. Hmm. Well, I'll, a little step ladder. Do you have time? Can I can I trouble you with a little step ladder? Okay. Combo yards. Okay. Hundred plus one eighty five, one twenty five plus five hundred. Over 125 total yards is plus 500. Yeah, I like that. I think, I think that is a really excellent way to. I mean, it's if they ever cut this guy loose, and they did it against a defense like the Chargers, he really could have a game. This hmm. is like, can he break two? Do you think he can break two big plays in the game? That's what you're betting on here. You can do it at plus 500. So I'm, I would that. that if I was in the ladders and I, I'm feeling good about it, that's what I would. That's what I would do. All right, what's your DJ's play? It's very simple. Tyler Conklin, two touchdowns, fifty-five to one. Okay. I like I. The, you know, Decker's signed off on the matchup. That's all I need to hear. So he, he's scared of Tyler Conklin. I, he's just scared of tight ends in general. Did you get a one to ten? What do you mean a one to ten? On a scale from one to ten. Oh no, I did not. But how, I can just. I can hear it he? in his voice. I can hear it in his voice. He knows he's, he's terrified. 
and again, we're already on the Tyler Conklin receiving ladder. So I don't want to be climbing up this ladder you, and not also getting paid on some. Uh, are you worried you put too much in one basket? No, not in this case. Okay. I mean, I'm slightly concerned about my Nick bought and uh, 75 to one. What are you worried about? Cautiously optimistic. You're not. I mean, those aren't supposed to be worrying. <laughs> All right. So I, I think. I think mine was actually fairly simple either. There are two. I didn't go big. I just went both running backs have a big game. 125 total yards. Okay. For Austin Eckler and Brees Hall. Okay. It's just 16 to one. Hmm. That's a Dejan parlay. That's it. Yep. Hashtag Dejans only. All right. Well, it's not big enough for you. No, I mean that's pretty small. But hey, it's a game of inches, as uh, as all the Dallas uh, Cowboys fans know. What do you want to call this? Like a 30 point dog. On the money line, thirty point dog on the money. Yeah, line. Oh, to okay, one. yeah, that's a good way to kind of you know. Yeah, South Alabama I, knocking down, knocking out a regular Alabama. Yeah, it's like Power Five versus uh, you know mediocre group of five. Army winning outright against. Oh, uh, how did we Air Force? How did no one, none of us have the money line for that one? Well, and th- it should have been triggered because anytime I'm fading Air Force, uh, you get nervous, but it's annoying because Air Force. <laughs> Air Force had a really good season. It's annoying they tripped up against Army, but oh, that's service academy football. They didn't just. Trip well, they up. got that's their ass kicked. Not good. I mean, Air Force was supposed to be good this year. That and they were. They just had a bad game. Really bad game. Really bad, horrible game. All right, Kramer. Anything else you'd like to add as we head into the bye week for you? Uh, for me. Oh, no. for the team. Sorry. Yeah, we're for the uh, we. We're just taking it one game at a time. I'm gonna get some rest and uh, be ready to go. Second half of the season, tough schedule, but uh, not looking to, not looking ahead past Kansas City. Gonna go get rested, All enjoy right. our week off, and be back. All right. Feel I, I feel concerned. Some listeners might actually think I'm leaving. Don't worry, listeners. We will be back. Oh, we tomorrow. don't get a bye week. No, no, but no bye week. Lucky to get a bye day. Uh, we will be back, of course, talking college football picks tomorrow. And if you miss it, we also recorded a bonus uh, college basketball picks episode that dropped a couple days ago. But it's for Monday's games. Ooh. So if you're listening to this on a Monday, late Sunday, plenty of time to get to that. A lot of fun getting back in the hoop scene. Good chatting it up with Colby. Reminder to watch hoops on Monday. Yes, plenty of great hoops. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean Second Money Green. He's Ryan. Can't wait to see the footage of you driving your tractor on the bye week. (laughs) Kramer, let it ride.